Hello everyone, my name is Sin from Cinnamon Studios and today I want to present a special showcase of my upcoming map, The Legend of Zelda Colored Sword. Due to getting over 200 subs, I've decided to make this video to get this map just a tiny bit more known to fans of Zelda and Minecraft alike, as well as a personal thank you to all of you who have supported my passion project. So without further ado, let's take a look at what I have in store for this showcase. That was a glimpse of what I've done so far on the map, and I'll go in detail about everything soon. Before I end though, I'd like you all to know how everything started, because this wasn't an easy trip. This project originally started as a small adventure map with me, which I was known as Blocked before, and a good friend, Kylie, formerly known as Dream Music, who helped me a lot. We kept working, revising, redoing all from scrap quite a few times actually. <laughs> This map was eventually cancelled to me just not having the time and motivation for it. I stepped in shoes I didn't quite fit in yet, then I went into other hobbies and lost interest from Minecraft for a couple of years. Years later, with a different Elias, I have had a sudden urge to mess around with Minecraft. With the new update and command and whatnot, it was inevitable that I started another small project by myself and ended up making another Zelda map, which I plan to finish this time. This project original started in December 2020 and it is really dear to my heart and I will not let it end up like the first. I've done a few hard choices to keep it as small as I can, like having no overworld but a small hub and much more focus about reliability, dungeons, collectibles and the story. And if we're already talking about the story... As I said before, this map is meant to be a Zelda and Minecraft crossover, with mechanics and concept from each mixed with my own ideas. The story for the map is set in a land unknown, full of human-like creatures named villagers. There once was a war between them and the pillagers, a race of greed and malice, with the ancient hero sealing the evil within the gaudy colored sword, sent to only be wielded by a hero unclouded by judgment and with a heart of gold. You will find yourself venturing to gain that same sword through many dungeons and interesting areas to restore peace and color to the land, as well as finding an old friend. The bedeviled Deku Girl is a land plagued by an ancient evil, and in the story you walk out to clear the poisonous waters, vanquish the evil, and obtain some treasures on your way.
a brutal war between the Never Creatures and an overworld dwellers was set in these catacombs, which originally served as a war fortress, now used as a monument for spirits of the war to rest. This area is heavily guarded, not just for its treasures, but also for the history it holds. There was once a race of fish-like creatures who lived in the high mountains, far away from civilization. This race is long gone, but very ancient technology isn't. You will pass through tight underwater crevices in ancient halls, so I hope we don't go there without the appropriate tunic.
in the map you will come across many unique and returning items from the Zelda franchise, but with a Minecraft twist to them. I won't show them all, but your item arsenal is quite important, as our enemies and bosses won't just be spam click pushovers, and you'll have to use tactics and advantages to defeat them using your items. So, what's more expected to come? From what you've seen, there's only quite a few enemies and only footage from the first three dungeons. I plan to have around 6 dungeons, lots of quests and features that encourage replayability, and lots more unique and interesting content. I'll keep uploading as much as I can whenever I make something interesting and new, but for now don't expect too much as I'm getting recruited in the next couple of weeks and I won't know how much time I have, so please be patient and thank you all for watching this awesome video. I love working on it and I appreciate every single one of you. And now for one last special announcement. I am excited to announce about a public beta test as a special reward for reaching 200 plus subs. Words cannot contain how thankful I am to all of you who have helped me grow and kept watching my content. So with that said, I would like to present my plan for beta testing. It will involve three steps. When I finish polishing the first and second temple, which is quite soon, I'll have a small private beta test which will include some parts of the hub and story. This beta test is a very small one and for small amount of people to figure out big bugs and try to patch out as much as possible. The second part of the beta test will include 10 to 15 people who I will let beta test, but there is a catch. I need to make sure I can trust you all, so I'll have a form set in the description for signing up. Alternatively, if you want to get immediate access, no, it's not pay to play, donating to my Patreon or coffee will help me a lot and as a reward, you will get guaranteed access to this beta test and future ones as well, along with many other perks and access to other projects of mine. If you don't want to pay or don't have the money, that's also fine. If you join my Discord and share it around, you will also get prioritized in these beta tests. The more I can trust you, the better chance you have. So what's the third step? That part is not for you to worry about. After the second step done, the third would be for YouTubers to play and record for YouTube. After most bugs, if not all, have been patched and fixed, the criteria for the third step is to have a YouTube channel with at least 50 subs and of course provide a link to the channel in the description when you have made the video. There is no current date for the beta test, but when I have news and more info about the army and such, I will let you guys know. I hope you enjoyed the showcase of dungeons and some of the gameplay that would be in this map. Nothing is really final obviously and a lot has to be done. But I really want to thank you all for watching this and helping me throughout this journey. This might be only the beginning, but I can say this will be a great, great map. Thank you all for watching again and see you next time. Bye!